<laughs> Libra, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be a reading for singles. What's going on with the independent single Librans? That's what I'm tuning into. All right, we're going to see what's going on with you here towards the end of the for the end of the year, <laughs> towards the end of the month. Get some more stuff. Let's see what's going on here with the Libra. Oh, let's tune in. <clears throat> After, ooh, the moon energy. We got the Nine of Coins. We got the Three of Coins. And we got the um, Two of Cups. So first and foremost, you're single. Flat out. It seems like you're about to be in a relationship. That's what I'm saying. Let me see. All right, ladies and gents. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on. God damn, life without coffee would not be the same. I'll tell you that. It's such a, what do you call that? It's like guilty pleasure? No, it's like a vice. <clears throat> a guilty vice? I forgot the damn term, but it's like one of those things that you indulge in and it's not the most healthiest thing. You know, I'm always drinking coffee at night. I literally ordered this coffee. I'm about to order one later. <laughs> so I'll drink multiple cups of coffee here at the... I should... <laughs> Anyways, what's going on here with the single Librans, which look mighty fine here with the Knight of nine of... The nine of coins this is an individual that's independent absolutely uh just independent not needing anybody they've built something for themselves they got it going on it looks like they they could be in some sort of position where they could be attracting multiple suitors i mean libra you're just exhibiting this energy of confidence stability groundedness all right if this is not you i don't know what to say but i'm getting a bit of a playerish libra now i don't want to say that you're a player and you mess with people's emotions but you're you could be a flirt all right, you could be a flirt. You could entertain flirt, flirtatious conversations with a multitude of people. You know that you're desired. You know that you're desired. That's the sort of Libra that, I'm, that I am looking into. All right. Knight of Wands energy. I don't know. Libra, are you, are, are you wanting a relationship? It don't seem like it. Okay, it doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like it. It seems like they're living their best life. You're single and, single and ready to fucking mingle is the sort of energy that I'm getting here. You, you like the attention that you get. Whichever Libra I'm tuning into. So if you've been locked in a dungeon and you're miserable and you know you hate your life, this ain't you. This ain't for you, Libra. I'm talking to the to the fine, independent, probably sexy as hell, top shelf, prime cut, Libra. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. You got the world on your palm. You already know it's all good. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You're like, yeah, I'm single. I got I got my own independence. I don't need I don't need anybody. I got options possibly. And I know that the future holds nothing but good for me. That's what I'm saying here. <clears throat> Straight up pool energy. You're just innocently walking into the future without a care in the world. Ooh, Seven of Swords? What's that about? Fuck. You probably got done dirty. You probably did someone dirty here. and It could have been past energy. Mm. All right. This is what I'm getting here, Libra. I got a message for you. If you're wanting a relationship and you're wanting to experience something new, something that is balanced, something that is reciprocal, okay, something that has um, equal give and equal take, and you know, a relationship, I feel like you got to change the direction in which you are approaching love with, all right? That's for someone. It's not going to resonate with all of you. Some of you are like, you know what? I go to church every day. I'm, I'm Mother Teresa and I'm ready to, you know, get my knight in shining armor, and others, others of you are like, yeah, I want love. I'm looking for love, but you're out here in the fucking club, all right? Being a sinful little creature. That's what I. That's that's who I'm talking to. It's all right. I mean, I, it's it's all right. A Christian would fucking throw a Bible at me if I told you it's all right to be sinful. But at the end of the day, we're we're sinful. Obviously, we're not gonna we're not gonna let it rule us, right? It's kind of like what do they, what do they say? Money's evil, okay? It's not fucking evil. If you allow it to overcome you, yes, it will rule your life, most certainly. But it can be a form of inspiration. Money can compel you to want to become the greatest person possible. It can push you. It can inspire you to pursue greater and greater goals, so on and so forth. I'm using money as an example, right? So what I'm getting is that if you don't want a serious relationship right now, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. If you want to just enjoy your independence and weigh out your options and see who comes along in your future, by all means, ladies and gents. But if you do want a relationship, you want to be that empress and you want to get that emperor, don't fucking fool yourself and say, oh, I, I really do want a relationship and you're a hoe. All right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. <clears throat> if you're a hoe, own that shit. Be a fucking hoe. Right up. That's it. That's all I got for you. Anyways, what's going on here with the three of wands? I mean, the three of coins. 
Nine of Swords. Stressed out. What the, what's this about? Two of Coins. So you got options. Is that what I'm getting? You got options, Libra. Three of Wands. Some of you definitely got options, okay? Or if it's not an option, if they're not options, there are options in a relationship. It's like you, there's, there's most certainly a decision that is stressing somebody out when it comes to love. And this is a very challenging decision for somebody for whatever reason. Maybe they got to choose between multiple people or maybe they're uncertain whether they want to give in to, uh, you know, losing their independence and move into a relationship, which is what I see happening. You are gonna lose your independence. You are gonna lose your singlehood. All right. I see you coming together with someone. The star card, Knight of Cups. All right. Someone here could really, really, really want to be with you, Libra. Damn, they're gonna be putting up with you. Interesting. This could be someone here that you have a history with. Five of Coins. This, this is a situation that could have once been abandoned, but there's just undeniable love between you and this individual. The connection is undeniable, and it's like. You guys may be coming back together. All right. <clears throat> the judgment. This is a card of resurrection, ladies and gents. I feel that there's a relationship around your proximity that you have a sense of history with. Don't tell me it's one of those situations here. You had a breakup with your ex and you're out here living your best life, you know, whipping your hair around, walking with your hips swinging and all and living your best life. Whole phase, if you will. And the ex comes back around. And now you're ready to get back into a relationship. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that. Typical story, huh? What's going on with Libra? And, and talk to me about the energy that they have towards women. The fucking coffee is uh, making me stutter, ladies and gentlemen. Talk to me about Libra and the energy that they are emitting, projecting towards a person that they are dealing with. Whoops. Let's get two more. God damn it. Don't tell me. We're already 10 minutes deep into this. No, we're not. Five of, five of Cups, the Hierophants, and we have the, the, the Knight of Swords. Libra, you most certainly are experiencing a sense of disappointment when it comes to whomever it is that you're connecting with and love, but I feel that you are inclined to moving this relationship towards a higher level of connection. I feel that you're embodying this energy of the Knight of Swords, which is one that is going to be stern with the direction in which they want to There is stern in the direction in which they want to embark on. God damn, that fucking coffee was loaded with caffeine. I looked at this little fucking glass when when the uh, the room service came in. I'm like, here we go again. Every time I order an Americano from room service, they come up with this little ass coffee. I'm about to ask them for a fucking mug next time. Or not a mug, but the whole pot. You know what I mean? But sure enough, that thing's got to be jittery as hell. So, let's see what's going on here. What direction does Libra want to move towards when it comes to this individual? The lovers. I told you, there's this like real stern energy of what direction you want to embark in. And I feel the feel, it's like the emotions that you are experiencing towards this individual are not the best. There's an element of sadness. There's an element of grievance. There's an element of a loss that ensued. And despite that, you're still very, very, very inclined to work this relationship out and move it towards prosper prospering it, growing it, moving it. I mean, towards the lovers and the high priestess. I don't doubt that you'll marry this individual. Why the hell would you deal with everything that's got everything that's been in this, everything that has gone on this relationship, all the discombobulation, all the scattered energy, all the heartbreak. Why would you deal with all that shit if you didn't have a long-term future in mind with this individual. Obviously, you got a long-term uh, future in mind with this person here. Otherwise, you wouldn't be dealing with this mess. That's what it looks like. It's like, oh, it sounds great. Libra wants a long-term relationship with this individual, but the reality is, it's all kind of, damn, what? This is standing on a foundation that that is built upon her feelings as of now. What about Libra's person? Talk to me about Libra's person. Give you three more. One, one more. We got the uh, Knight of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Ace of Coins. All right, this individual is on the same page, ladies and gents. They're what they're—they're they're just as discombobulated 
They're just as adamant to bring forth a new beginning and they're embodying a very similar energy to you when it comes to the communication factor. The lovers. Are you fucking kidding me? Both of you guys got the lovers. Literally. When I first clarified, both of these guys... <laughs> Remember what I said, Libra? I saw the king of... I saw the knight of swords and that's when I asked. I was like, where? what direction does Libra want to take this situation toward? I clarified it and I got the lovers. Now your person has got the knight of swords again. All right. And when I clarify the knight of swords, they got the lovers as well. Look at that synchronicity, ladies and gents. So, okay, both of you guys want to work through this relationship. Flat out. Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign here. This individual, tell me about this Queen of Wands. This is someone here that is that is really inspired. It could be an Aries with the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. This is someone here that is inspired to move on from whatever feelings. Okay? They understand what they have ahead of themselves when it comes to this relationship. But this is not daunting them at all. They're looking at this fucking mountain of problems, which let's hope I'm exaggerating, but they're looking at the challenges up ahead in this relationship and they're not even phased. They're like, bring it on. I know where I want. I know where I want to take this. And I want that ace of coins, which is a new beginning with Libra, which entails the temperance. This is balancing a situation and working on a situation. That's the sort of energy that I see here in your person. Two of cups. I mean, this is soulmate energy, ladies and gents. By the way, you're looking at an optical illusion, right? This is an optical illusion. So, look at that. Anyways, Libra, I'm going to go ahead and take this to the extended, all right? I got to end this reading because I got a live session coming up here in a few minutes. And uh, nevertheless, in the extended, I'm just going to be diving into your person. I'm going to be diving into... I'm going to look into their feelings towards you. I'm going to look into their actions towards you. I'm going to look into their mind. I want to see what sort of energy encompasses their thoughts when it comes to you. I'm going to look into this individual, or rather, the future of this relationship. Where is this situation headed? If you're interested, the link to that will be in the extended. I mean, what? Will be in the description. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure connecting with you, Librans. I'll see you guys next time.